Two at 10 as a disabled veteran was sleeping in his Conway motel room. Someone set fire to his only form of transportation. Tom Kazad uses a lawnmower to get around town. That is until the fire happened. Our Claire Kreitz spoke with him and Claire, this was just more than a ride to him. Yeah, that's right, Mitch. He's known as Wheelchair Pop, and you'll always find him on this lawnmower. It was donated, donated to him as a way to earn some money by cutting grass. After the fire, the community is stepping up to replace it. As you drive into downtown Conway, you've probably come across Wheelchair Pop sitting on his bright red lawnmower. He's just a friendly face. Everybody knows where he's always going to be and they look forward to seeing him. It's his way around town, his way to make money. I call it no eggs, Vaughn. But more than that. I just help people. I have no family, so I just take care of whoever comes down the road. He uses one of his only belongings to help others. He's had people that have broke down in the middle of the intersection. Um, he's pushed them with his lawnmower. But now those wheels are gone. Very scary. As wheelchair pop was leaving his motel room early in the morning, he found his lawnmower up in flames. I had people upstairs throwing water down on it, and the lady next door, she and her friend grabbed buckets out of the tub. It couldn't be saved, and now he's back in a wheelchair trying to navigate the city sidewalks. It takes five hours to go to Walmart in a wheelchair, and it takes an hour just to go up to Walgreens. While most in his situation would give up hope, that's not wheelchair pop. You know, it's a material thing. The thing is, I'm still me. I'll still help people. I'll still do what I can. There is a GoFundMe set up for wheelchair pop. You can go on our website, krk.com, to donate. Mitch. I think people are going to step up and help on this Thanksgiving night. Claire, thanks. A car plow.